when you when you deal with old people, um, and I've do, I've done this a lot. I actually, I would say that I I can safely say this truly <laughs> that I've seen a lot of old folks in the in the recording studio. Problem you have is that even if the uh, the uh, the spirit is willing, the flesh will be. You have you, you just don't know. Right. Where in their life are they? Where's their energy curve? What kind of shape are they in and all this? Because it's just useless. If, if they can't bring that, that identifiable energy that makes them great, whatever that is, however you, whatever you call that, in and get it done through the microphone, through the electricity, into the board and onto the tape, then you just don't, you can't do anything about it. What good is it? Because it isn't enough to say, well, this is a fine person and have a great career. Um, at that moment, you know, when the tape's rolling, it's all about something that you've still got that you can jam through. So, of course, you know, when I went to Lalo's house and I said, I'm going to go see him and I'm going to sit with him, and we're going to talk and I'm going to check him out <laughs> because they have to make some determination. If he can't do this, I don't think I can go ahead with this idea. Right. I like this idea. It was just starting to form in my mind. But I better, I have to say that without Lalo to to be the keystone, or I just, this is never going to mean anything. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have done it. So I said this, told Mark, I said, I'll come down there. I'm going to sit there with him, you know. I said, I just need him. I'm going to make some kind of a, have an afternoon, see what happens. So we did, we did well. We sat there, and he was excited to do something, and I could see he's happy to be asked. Because, of course, musicians like to be asked to, to be musicians, you know. The worst thing is neglect. Right. Then you've got to catch them when they're still got enough chi or whatever the heck it is to pump themselves up and be that great thing. Right. That's not so easy to do. Right. You know, for anybody. Now then, now what makes him charismatic and what makes him um, uh, that, that gregarious sort of outgoing person that he is? That has to come through that microphone. And so we did there. And we went. And Mark brought him to L.A. Get him in the studio now. Here it is. Now we're all here. What am I doing, Mark? I'm going well. Let's just see what happens now. And we're all ready. Got the microphones because we sat around him in a circle. Put him in the middle like old style with the ribbon mic. Play to his vocal level with earphones. It's true. And then just see. And then by God, you get a hold of this thing and start to do it. And then you think, okay, we're there because he can still make you visualize it. He can still give it life. And that's the gift of somebody like this, especially old people. They can give life to something that's a, just an abstraction otherwise. See, because they didn't learn to do this on TV, and they didn't buy it at, down at the sharper image. It's something that they're able to keep recreating. And it is amazing when you have it, when you're in the presence of it, but when it's unplugged, it's gone forever, you see? Compai Segundo, very same, same right. guy. Same human being almost. And it's a, it's some inner secret, which I associate with people who were raised pre-media, so that they never, no one ever told them, you'd be all right if you got this BMW or these shoes, or you need this, uh, you need this kind of, uh, of barbecue in your backyard. You know, there's no sense of inadequacy, so they carry it all. Isn't that something? And we won't see this again. That book is closed. With Lalo gone, the book is closed, and you can't go back. You, you just can't. You can remember him, but we can't go back there. I mean, you know, where he came from, none of us can. We can't go back. We don't have no time machine for that. And I'm sad to say it, but I'm also happy that we did do this, you know, because it's there. It's well recorded. I think he sounds good. Pope Mark said he thought his voice sounded terrific. 